Hey guys, Megan here from Growing Up Herbal. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I wanna show you guys how to make a homemade insecticidal soap that is non-toxic. It's not gonna harm you or your plants, and it'll help with ants, aphids, white flies, any types of little bugs that are eating your plants or just being a nuisance to you. Um, it's completely natural, like I said, and it's easy to make using cheap, ingredients that you can get from the dollar store. So let me flip the camera around and I'll show you all the ingredients and then I'll show you how to blend it up. And then I'll take you outside and show you some aphids that I have on some foxglove plants around my house. Um, and that way you have an idea of what I'm talking about um, with the type of insects that you can use this stuff on. Okay, so all you need to make your homemade insecticidal soap is four ingredients. You can use any kind of oil you want. We just chose this cheap extra virgin olive oil from Dollar General. Um, we chose Dawn dishwashing liquid, some peppermint essential oil, and some water. And that is it. You'll also need a spray bottle and another jar to store your soap concentrate in. I'll show you how to make that in just one second. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this here where you guys can see. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is measure out one cup of our oil, and then we're gonna add two tablespoons of our dishwashing liquid to that. This is making a soap concentrate, and you'll use this soap concentrate diluted in some water every single day until your insect problem is gone. All right, I think that's about a cup, maybe just a little bit more. May have got it too full, but that's okay. So now we're just gonna use two tablespoons of Dawn dishwashing soap. All right. And just very carefully mix that up so that the oil and the soap blend together. You'll notice that your oil goes from being kind of transparent to being cloudy a little bit opaque where you can't see through it where the soap and the oil are mixing together. Okay, I'm also going to add in some peppermint essential oil. Peppermint is great um, to keep insects away. They don't really like the smell. And so I'm adding, you know, 20 or 30 drops. Again, this is a concentrate and it's gonna be mixed into water and so it'll dilute everything. So I'm just really gonna go heavy on this peppermint oil here. Peppermint's safe for your plant so it's not gonna hurt anything. All right, just be careful not to get it on your skin undiluted. All right, and I'm just gonna mix that in and you'll notice as I'm mixing, the soap is turning even more of a white, whiter, like lighter yellow opaque color, just as everything incorporates and blends together. Okay, so this is my soap concentrate solution. I'm gonna transfer this to a glass canning jar just for storage. And this is what I'll use when I mix it with my water to make the actual insecticidal spray. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Okay, so now we are ready to mix up our insecticidal spray. I'm just using a glass bottle with a spray top to put my spray in each day. I have my soap concentrate in my glass canning jar and I can just give this a good shake before I put it in my water just to make sure everything's mixed up really well. I have my tablespoon here and I have a silicone funnel to get everything in my jar and I have a one cup of water. So we're gonna combine this one cup of water with two teaspoons of our soap concentrate and we're gonna put it all in our spray bottle, shake it up really well and then in either the early morning or the late afternoon, that's when we'll use this on our plants. We don't wanna put it on the plants midday because the sun will beat down on the plants and the water and the soap and all of that good stuff on your plant will burn the leaves of the plants. You don't wanna do it when the sun is directly overhead on your plants. We'll talk more about that in a minute, but I'm gonna show you how to mix this up real quick. Okay, so now I'm going to pour my one cup of water into my spray bottle. I'm actually just gonna add half the water, and then after I add my two teaspoons of soap, I'll pour the rest of the water in and kind of rinse the soap out of the funnel. Now I am using a tablespoon since it's already dirty um, and I'm just gonna kind of pour a little bit out and kind of guesstimate that that's about two teaspoons of soap and pour that in. 
and I'll just store this somewhere until I need more tomorrow. And I'm gonna add the rest of my water. Put the lid on my spray bottle. And I will give this a very good shake because you can see that the oil is naturally going to separate from the water. So I'm just gonna give this a really good shake before I head outside um, to spray my plants. And I'll just continue to shake it in between spraying each plant so that I can kind of keep that oil and water mixed as much as possible. All right, so you can see the tiny yellow aphids. Some of them are not so tiny. Some are quite large all over this foxglove on the flowers mostly on the stalk but some are on the leaves as well all the way down the stalk so I am just gonna start at the base and work my way up to the top and really cover this whole plant well with this homemade insecticidal soap and hope that doing this every single day on all of my foxglove plants will really help to get rid of this aphid problem before it spreads to other plants Okay, so everything has been fully saturated. The water's dripping off the plant. And I'm just gonna leave this to sit here and I'm going to go do my other foxglove plants that are in the shade. I'll do the ones that are in full sun later this evening. And I'll repeat this every single day for as long as it takes to get rid of these aphids in as natural and non-toxic uh, away as possible. <laughs> All right, so this is one day after the first application of my insecticidal soap on my foxglove plant. You can see that there are brown spots everywhere on the flowers, and that is the dead aphids. You can see some are still yellow and moving around. Those are still alive, but there's a lot of brown spots in there, and those are the ones that have died. Um, so this is just one day after the application, like I said. So I'm going to continue to spray every single day and get rid of the rest. Anyway, I just wanted to give you an update so you guys can kind of have an idea of what to expect if you find yourself needing this. Um, you'll see a good bit of results even after the first application. Okay, so here's my foxglove plant several days after I initially sprayed it. And you can see that there is no longer a ton of yellow aphids all over it. Now, I actually did forget to spray it a couple days in a row, but that didn't really matter too much. Um, I came back and sprayed it after I missed a few days, and it did just as well. So yeah, there's some brown specks where the dead aphids are. You can see that on there. I need to like kind of rinse the plant off, I guess, to get rid of that. But no yellow bugs on there any longer. Even up here under the, I don't know if you guys can see in there, but you can see little black specks in between the flowers, but there are no yellow live bugs, so yeah really happy with this insecticidal soap. It was, like I said, cheap and easy to make and it worked extremely quickly and really well. I even have a little plant, an indoor plant with white flies that I used it on and they're completely gone and I only sprayed it once. So, yep, you, you guys should definitely give this a try. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have found it helpful. Um, if you ever do find yourself with ants or aphids or white flies or like I said, any of those other little insects that bother your plants um, and can destroy them, I hope that this is a cheap and easy recipe, something that's non-toxic and you know is not gonna bother you or your pets 
or your plants um, and something that you can just kind of quickly whip up and you won't have to worry so much about the bugs because you know you have something natural and healthy that's going to take care of it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel for more herbal and non-toxic natural lifestyle tips from me. Um, and you can always visit my blog at www.growingupherbal.com for more natural lifestyle, behind the scenes, um, recipes, food posts, all kinds of good stuff. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.